Hi viewer, and welcome back. It's uh, more Paper Mario. It's just me today. It's, uh, GD Caden's been busy with work, and also just, you know, trying things out, seeing how things work, how things don't work. Personally, I suspect that uh, two people is just going to be working better, but got to give everything a try, right? Um, so, the jerk not toads are still blocking our way, but they're idiots, so they told us who to go talk to. That's nice of them, and Goombario's able to teleport. I was not aware of this. It's kind of neat. Um, so, early impressions of the game. It's good. It's a little basic. You know, like, the battle system has not been that complicated. There's some enemies you can only jump on, there's some enemies you can only hit with a hammer, but when it comes down to it, it is a pretty basic turn-based RPG. Use another system. Where are we going? We're going to this fortress. And... Blue Shell Koopa. Got it. Go to the village, look for someone who looks special, talk to them. Alright, starting the second week with chapter one. We can get through one chapter a week. This will take a while. Uh, I mean, you know, the overworld works nice. The battle system I am clearly not the best at. Um, well, it's Koopa Troopa, so we jump on him. And I nailed it. See? I don't need any mm, tutorials and stuff. Although, how long is he stuck down like that? Like, if I just don't bother, how many turns does he spend down when I knock him down? Oh, well, now, are you up? Okay, now you're up. All then. No, not bad. Talk to me. Good trooper. Defense power. That's something new. Looks like uh, this very simple game has started learning things or teaching things. Looks like the game has gotten a bit more complex. Um, overall, the little quick time events work fine. I suspect I'm going to be screwing them up a lot, so mostly for me it will be a case of uh, them gating me out of some damage. And looks like I screwed that up. But this is not that difficult. Um other thoughts. I really I don't know how well Mario lends himself to an RPG. He doesn't have much character. He sort of just goes and does things, which makes him a decent silent protagonist sort of person, but I do feel like there's more you could potentially do with him. Uh, let's see what the hammer thing is. Alright, the hammer thing is way easier. You've got to consider the idea that we should use the hammer more often. Um, anything else? Well, and the overall battle system is pretty good. New badge. There was a boat. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll be getting badge points on the next level up. So we'll try out some fun things. Okay. We just have scary spirits in jars now. That makes sense. Ah, uh, okay. It does look like they are a lot better at this. Uh, don't worry about that. Overall, you know, battles, they are, they are really trying to get up. Um, uh, let's see. So nice just gives a little extra bonus damage, it does not let me get the hammer. And I suppose that's good balance, but it is a little disappointing. Oh well. Um, 
I do wish that, you know, if you did the events properly, you would get more experience or something. Because it really doesn't feel like you get experience that quickly. Um, I guess this has worked for us in the past. And it still does! Excellent! And... Yeah, why not? So... Yeah, Mario. I just... I see you up there, enemy. I'm not even gonna bother. Take that. You go. I mean... There was no advantage to doing that over failing it. So I'm not really sure... It just feels like they're not... I guess they are fully utilizing their mechanic, but a lot of situations where there's no point to fully utilizing them. Like, what's the upside for me? Item. Hi. And... She's a little taller than I expected. Uh... Mario. Make him useless. And... The hammer and the spike Goomba. Yeah, I guess as we start getting enemy variety, the battle system will sort of naturally become not really more complicated, but at least there will be decision making that we are doing as we're deciding. Well, I need to take out this enemy first and this one, and I need to do this. So it does seem like it should work overall. And these quick time events are actually extremely easy. And I have to that level up at some point, but. Yeah. Okay. Depth perception is not my friend. Ha! There's somewhere there'd be a thing that did this. Money! Really does not seem to have that much use. Down to Koopa Village! Which is really more. This way to Koopa Village. But whatever. <clears throat> and not a single item. So are these supposed to be eyes? I'm not really sure what's going on with these. As someone who is legitimately awful at platformers, I've missed plenty of things in the Mario series, and. So a lot of the aesthetics just seem odd to me. The fuzzies. Are these like triples? No, they're... Ugh. Mean guys, really naughty. Okay... I don't... I don't even. Alright, there we are. We have helped this guy out. And now, he will never have issues again. So, is it just like a very small percentage of any particular group? That... Yeah, okay. Just... Yes, 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 yes I am. Ooh! New thing! That's useless. Uh, tree means hammer. There we go, it's just a nice little... I don't even know if this is necessary. But, you know, the situation is there, and I'm gonna go deal with it. I'm gonna try and catch up to this guy and stomp on him, but... He's a quick little thing. I don't even know if this is possible. But I did it to the other one, so it's gotta be, right? I'm sure this is super exciting to watch as I run around trying to chase down a little ball of irritation. Ha! Got him. And his money. So I'm sure that was super important. 
don't let me interrupt whatever you're doing. Um, right, and more of them. And something's going on over there. Okay. Can I push it? I can't. Puzzle solved. I am a genius. So, like, everyone seems to love Mario, which leads to the question of where does Bowser get people to help him? Go away. Goombario, help out! Go! Oh, Alright, I have no idea how we're supposed to get that one. Let's, uh... The house is a-rockin', don't come a-knockin'. Yeah, I bet you are. Blue Shell! Cooper. Cooper the Koopa. Yep. Okay. York. Yeah, that... Okay. Get... Get... Oh, boy. And they are combat encounters as well. That was not at all what I wanted you to do. So, the hammer just seems... easier. Oh lord, they leech health. That's... a thing. But it looks like they only have three, so... Let's confirm that. Chill out. Attack power one, defense power is zero. I mean, their attacks doesn't matter. They haven't taught me how to do the defensive trick yet. So, there's really no upside being able to time their attack. And Barrio, I think you're referencing mechanics that haven't been introduced yet. Uh, running jump? No. I feel like that's just something we're going to unlock later. Um, so he's just being a jerk. Alright. Wait, they speak English? Oh, lord. That was really easy. Uh, you're over here. So, how many times are you going to make me do this? It's going to be three times, isn't it? Okay, you're over here now. These puzzles are not that hard. This one is going to be really annoying, though. Alright, I think he's all the way on the right. Nailed it! Alright, that actually brings up an issue that I have. You've beaten this person, he's now going to just stop being bad because you've somehow shown him the error of his way. Red and blue uh, Goomba did this as well. So it's suddenly... We beat them, and now they want to be good. There's no reason. We didn't, we didn't, like, persuade them in the value of friendship. We beat them, and now they're good, because that's what happens. 
I know this is sort of like a subversive take on the Mario universe occasionally, but it doesn't seem like that's what it's doing right now. There, there we go, there's our new friend. Professor... Uh, oh yes, of course Toombario knows that. Sure, more party members. Always in favor. You are So hopefully, yes. Oh, don't you start. You know what? No. How does that sound? I'm just... I'm not in a good way health-wise. Anyway. Uh, there was that thing that you should be able to grab for me. Wait. Yeah! So there's a badge. It increases my health. Yeah, okay. Why not? So if there's enough badges like that, there's really no point in investing in the or presumably F. You can just go badge points the whole way and be able to just super customize your character. So you live next door to the archaeology guy? What is this, his wife? No, that's his... Um... So, all of the fuzzies just happen to decide... I don't even care. You, I... Oh, Quizmo. Alright. Uh, star piece. Sure. Quizzes. We're on a game show now. Well, looks like I am bad at things. Um, sure, probably. Favor. Borrow a book. Yeah, okay. So is Cooper just closing doors behind me because Mario can't be bothered to do it himself, or...? I'm a bit curious about some of these things. No, it looks like I probably could have just ignored all of the Coopers who were having trouble. I'm gonna go back and heal. And then we'll go and prepare for our assault on... the fortress, I guess. But for now, nap time! Everyone loves nap time. It's really, like, the best time. Uh, anyway, to the fortress, our first real area. I know, Goomba Village, but... See, now we actually seem to have mechanics available. Goomba Village, we could jump on things or we could hit them with hammers, but really, it didn't make a difference. We had... we could do one damage or we could also do one damage. Ah, I see your cunning trap. Over with. 
So that's sort of the issue. The fights are really not very complex right now. Hopefully they will be later. But... Wow. Uh, you first. Your attack just seems to be a hammer style attack. Okay. So the hammer is just much easier to do than the jump attack. You can even be a little bit late. It's just a matter of wait until the thing happens. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Oh, I can't jump this high. Interesting. Aw, oh, they made me a sign. It's a shame they didn't actually do much to stop me, but they tried. Paratroopers. Still really not a threat. Uh, the second one should really do something. I mean, this is sort of the issue in... Oh, neat. These games, until they've actually introduced all of the mechanics, there's really not much going on, and the fights are pretty boring. But also to add to it in this case, the experience gain is really not fast. Like, this is not a speed leveling up thing. So that's annoying, but I'm certain everything is balanced around the idea of how often you'll be getting level ups. So, you know. That's just what we have to work with. Um, the overall interaction with the world is pretty good. Huh. Um, do your thing. Alright, so he's nice and useful. Handling fights. I think actually a lot of the time I will end up still using Goombaria in the case of fights just because Mint Koopa Lee. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely feeling like I made the right choice in leveling up FP first, because it seems to be very useful. But for right now, just... Like I said, very basic combat. Overall, the world seems entertaining. And that should be worth a fair amount. And there's another level up. Like I said, we're definitely going badge power here. Because badge power is directly equatable to health if I really want it to. I don't, though. And we're just gonna offer up those options. And warp pipe. I wonder if I can... No, but that's clearly broken. Maybe I just am not able to deal with that yet. Uh, I like the music. The music is definitely good. And here we are at the doors of the fortress, being greeted by... Of course, the Red Koopa is leading. Well, that's, uh, that's about, all, about all for this episode. 